All right, hey there. All right, today I want to talk to you about the free plus shipping model. And, um, you know, if you follow the channel for, for a little while, you know that, you know, the free plus shipping model is, is not something I ever really wanted to deal with. It's not something that I ever really wanted to take a dive into because I always believe in, in long term, build your brand, build your reputation. And then, and in the long run, you know, it'll provide more value for you in the end. But, you know, as, as I want to be as helpful as possible, you know, I'm a marketer. That's, that's me first and foremost. That's what I do. And, you know, second is, you know, I'm a, I'm a teacher. I'm a, I'm a trainer. I'm a helper. I want to help as many people as possible achieve their online success. So I want to, you know, leave no stone unturned. I want to explore every option. And the free plus shipping method is huge. Everybody's talking about it. You know, all the gurus are promoting it. Um, so I wanted to, to just give it a shot and, see, you know, see what, see what I thought about it. And I went through this for a couple of days and the, the take on it that, that I'm going to show you here today that, that I got uh, is, is that there is a tremendous amount of value in doing the free plus shipping method, but probably or possibly not the way you're thinking. So let's just dive into this really quickly. I'm just going to kind of go through it hopefully in about 10 minutes here. And I'm going to show you the potential of doing a free plus shipping uh, offer here. So first, let's, um, you know, if you follow the channel for a while, uh, you know that you know, this is more of a case study for me. The the e-commerce, the drop shipping with Shopify and AliExpress was done in this as a case study. You know, I'm a blogger. I'm a content creator. Uh, you know, I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel right now. And I'm also creating something that, you know, if you're watching this video today when it was created on January 25th, 2017, you know, there's a a new community that I'm developing right now that is is just it's going to be available, I think, by Friday, which is in a couple of days. But it's going to be you know, I think it's going to revolutionize the way beginners and intermediates go about, you know, gathering and vetting their information regarding, you know, marketing online, making money online. And, you know, if once it's ready, you know, I'll put some links down below. Uh, that you can kind of check it out. Now, it's not going to be free, but you'll see. If, if you go check it out, it's going to be just a, a tremendous, a tremendous opportunity, I believe. And also, if you're if you're thinking about getting started with Shopify, this is, you know, you're just dipping your toe into it right now and you haven't yet started, I'm going to post a, a link below to a to a video that is a, essentially it's a live store setup from beginning uh, with a brand new store, how to get your Shopify store up and running. So definitely want to check out that link below. There's a ton of valuable content. You know, in my opinion, especially if you're in the in the Shopify drop shipping uh, game right now, or if you want to be a blogger, if you want to be an internet marketer, if you just want to be a successful entrepreneur online, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. But anyways, let's dive right into it really quickly. So what we got here is uh, this this store was was not running anything else. Once again, it's just a case study for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what you can see is I ran this over the course of three days: one full day and, and two half days on either side of that full day. And what we were able to generate is $592 in sales on 111 orders. So all, all I did here is just do a do a post and then and then boost it essentially a page post engagement engagement or or boosted post would even work as well. And and for this post, uh, you know, I didn't really do anything uh, too crazy. I just you know, put an image uh, up there, and I just do this for my phone because it allows me to do these emojis right here uh, really easily and. And, and you, as you can see, this is just an image of the product, uh, a good looking image. And, and when you're doing images for posts, they want to be square, like 800 pixels by 800 pixels is, is usually right, right around perfect. And then all I did is I put this uh, little free today and then, you know, a little dash, just pay shipping. And I, I do it that way because, you know, people read left to right. So if you put the free today uh, on the left hand side with the uh, little uh, heart eye emoji like that right there, uh, that's going to draw people's attention. And then, you know, the, the fire will kind of take them past the just pay shipping here. And then uh, below that, I put limit three per order. And I'll talk about why I do that in just a second as well. And then simply just get yours now by following the link. And I, and I put the, just the actual link in there. And there's no button below that, like shop, button, uh, shop now button below that on the post. This is all, that's all the post is. And then I just boosted it really. Uh, no you know, no in-depth crazy targeting. Targeting. I think my audience is about five or six million people, um, and it was loosely based around the product that I offered. Now, that being said, you know, if you're going to do a free plus shipping, you want to find a product that's cool that people want because you got to get the likes and the shares here. 
Uh, but you can see, so we did that $592 um, dollars in sales. If we look at uh, kind of uh, the stats here for the uh, the actual page post engagement, we ended up spending about $146, okay? And our co cost per post engagement, you know, a like, a share, a click, or whatever, was $0.03. Cents, and we reached 60,000 people. Now, that is our paid reach. With the organic reach that comes from something kind of not going viral but getting shared around a lot, uh, you can see we got 600 post shares on this page post engagement. Uh, I think we we're closer to 80,000 people that we ended up reaching. Our, our frequency was 1.07. That means we did not really serve this ad to anybody more than once. So there was tons of room for growth on this. And uh, we got 1,700 post reactions, 150 comments. We got 1,900 likes, and that comes out to just like seven cents a, or excuse me, we got 1,900 clicks. And that comes out to just about seven cents a click, maybe just a little bit more. And uh, we got 275 page likes. I mean, that's just a bonus right there. And once again, this is all spending about 146 bucks. Now we we took in the 592, which I already mentioned. Now, granted, that's that's just sales. That's not, uh, you know, that doesn't include the the cost of goods, which I'll get into in just a moment. But what we did for this one is we did a free plus shipping offer. Okay. Limit three. If they bought one, okay, we charge them two ninety five shipping, and that's right around our break even. If they bought two, we charged them four ninety five shipping, and if they bought three, we charged them six ninety five shipping. So you can see we're not making a ton of money here. But let me tell you why this works. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a item kind of like this. Okay, this is uh the the item is cost a dollar ten. Choker necklaces are on trend at this point, so it's going to get a lot of interest. And e packet is a buck forty seven. Okay, this is a hot product with a lot of stars, a lot of orders, so it's safe. Let's go, let's jump in and take a look at how this is all going to come together. When you go down here to order this product, okay, if you're doing the drop shipping method, um, you know if it's the product itself is going to be you know a buck ten. If you select the e-packet shipping, which is going to bring it in 12 to 20 days, plus offer them the um, tracking, which is super important, it's going to bring up to 257. So you can see if you're if you're offering one of these free plus shipping for 295, if you take in your 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 Shopify you know uh, transaction cost, so it's 30 cents per transaction, and uh, what is it like 2.9 percent or something like that? For each transaction, that's going to bring your total take down to about 245. So actually, if if someone orders just one of these, um, you're actually going to use a few lose a few cents, okay? Because it costs you 257 to ship out, and you're only taking even if you're charging 295 shipping based on you know, after the fees, you're only taking like 240 something. But what happens here is if they order two, okay, 367. So if you take 495 and you subtract out 367. You know that's that's over a dollar. So even after uh, processing fees from Shopify, you're making a profit. Okay, and then if they order three, it's four sixty two. But six ninety five minus four sixty two is over two dollars. So even after the processing fees, and um, you know you're you're going to make even more of a profit. Okay, so all you're trying to do, the reason you're not charging more is because you want to essentially you know, get as many conversions as possible, sort of. And what I mean by that is you could certainly, you know, those are just the, the numbers that we use because they converted pretty well. You could even try like 395, 595, and 795, okay? But really what the ultimate goal is, is you are trying to break even on this, okay? So that's why you got to keep your shipping costs pretty low because you want to convert. But the ultimate goal here is to break even with your product spend, your ad spend and your Shopify fees in the end. So if we spent 146 bucks on our advertising, but we took in 592 in sales. Let's see, let's break out the calculator really quickly. Let's just assume that uh, you know I don't want to do too much math here, but let's just assume 550 was our um, you know after after fees, and we take out the 146 that we spent that leaves us $404 to fulfill our orders. Now, if we can get that to, to break even, okay, then we are ahead of the game. And the way this all comes together is in your email list. 
Okay. So every time, so every time someone comes to your store and they add an item to the cart, after they add an item to the cart, they go to checkout, they enter all their information and they, they enter their email address. They enter their, uh, you know, their address, their contact information, and then they hit continue on to checkout or continue on to shipping method or whatever it says. Only then do they discover what the shipping price is. Okay. So if you can get the first part to break even, okay, your ad spend, um, you know, your revenues and, and your product costs to break even, then you just got a list of subscribers for free. This is your email list that you just built for free. Now in the two days, the, the one full day and the two half days, I was able to get 703 subscribers for free. Okay. Now I can market to these people for the rest of eternity. As long as they stay on my list, as long as I don't just spam the crap out of them. If I give them relevant offers, if I, if I give them entertaining articles from my store's blog uh, that, that get them to buy, I can, I can market to these people for free forever. Okay. So, and this was just a little snippet of what, what the possibilities are. You could literally add tens of thousands of people to your email list every single day for free. But let me tell you what happened here. This was a complete disaster. And, and I'm only telling you this just to be honest with you and real with you and show you that sometimes business doesn't always go great. What happened here is this product that I chose, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because it was too good, was, was in such high demand that AliExpress was having a hard time keeping up uh, with the orders. So what happened is I would get these orders. I would go to fulfill them the next day and the supplier would be gone. So I ultimately had no choice but to refund everybody's money, send them an apology email, all that crap. The reason I'm bringing that up, though, is because this is business. That happens. That is a very real problem that happens sometimes. But but it's not an issue. OK, you deal with it and you move on. I've been you know marketing online for four or five years now. OK, and, and everybody always tells you that the money's in the list. And, and that's an absolute fact. OK, when, when you can build a list, you have it like, you know, like we'll call it like a self liquidating offer. OK, you are break even and you're getting, you know, we already mentioned we got 275 page likes and on our Facebook page and we got 700 emails that we can just continue to market to. Uh, forever, uh, you know, I, I don't want to over talk this, but I mean, this, this, this is amazing. I mean, this, if I didn't have so many other opportunities going on, and if I wasn't in the process of building what I think is going to be the greatest community for beginning entrepreneurs that has ever been created, I would do this because this just makes sense. Okay. Just make sure you you have a good supplier, make sure you have a product that, that people are interested in. And, and you could, I mean, the sky is the limit with this. Um, you know, just remember, be careful, you know, don't grow too fast. Um, you know, start with a hundred bucks a day or whatever and, and test this out and then work on your marketing chops, you know, learn how to really, you know, market to your email list because, you know, there are, there are going to be experienced entrepreneurs and experienced internet marketers who are going to say, why didn't I think of this? So take this for what it's worth. Think about it. Uh, implement it into your business. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the links below. I, you're going to find some value there, whether you're a beginner or, or an intermediate. And, and maybe after, after this method, even if you're